Hey everyone, Chang here and welcome to my channel. This is the Bare Minimum Algebra series. Today we're going to focus on one of the scariest thing in algebra, but actually one of the most simple thing in algebra, and that is solving linear equations. Now I was racking my brain on what is the best way to basically make it bare minimum, right? Find out step by step or break it down to different cases. There's no real different cases. Well, actually there's a bunch of different cases each slightly unique but here is a step-by-step -step that I think actually is pretty encompassing on how you would solve a standard linear equation the first one is you want to simplify both sides now this is not the most efficient way because guess what there's different ways to cancel out numbers there's different ways to make your life easier but if you follow these step-by-step -step, you will always is there any cases no yeah you will usually always solve the linear equation. You simplify both sides as much as you can. You know, that's where you use your whole PEMDAS, that's where you use all the different properties, uh, you know, commutative, associative, distributive, so on and so forth. You simplify both sides. Then the second step is you're gonna add or subtract. The third one is you're gonna multiply and divide. Now these two where you're adding or subtracting or multiplying and dividing, you're not doing it willy-nilly. Like, right, you're not just doing it for the heck of it, right? You have a goal. Your goal is always to isolate the variable onto one side. So if it happens to be a positive number, you want to get rid of it by subtracting. If it happens to be a negative number or a minus whatever, you're going to add to get rid of it and bring it to the other side. What you do to one side, you must do to the other, right? So even though I didn't say it this way, Add or subtract, whatever you're adding or subtracting, you gotta do it to both sides of the equation. What you are multiplying or dividing, you have to do it to both sides of the equation because guess what? Equation means they're equal. That means you have to make sure that what you do to one side, you always do to the other, right? So if it happens to be a fraction, usually you're gonna either multiply the reciprocal, right? Or you're dividing, right? Same thing, if it's just a number, you're usually dividing or you're multiplying the reciprocal. But either way, your goal is to isolate the variable on one side and everything else on the other, and that's how you would end up solving it. So let's look at some examples of that. Let's look at this first problem. You have 5x equals three times the quantity of four plus one. Now, once again, our first step is to simplify both sides. The first side, 5x, you really can't do anything else going to leave it like that. Now we just got to simplify the other side. Now with PEMDAS, right, parentheses, we're going to work inside here if possible, which it is because it's just a simple addition problem, right? You have four plus one. So the next step basically is going to be five X equals three parentheses five, right? Remember number and parentheses is just multiplication. Can't do anything here. We're still going to simplify this even further. Now we're just doing a multiplication based on PEMDAS, right? We have 5x equals 15. Okay, that was our first step. So yeah, there was multiple things that we're doing, but that was our first step. Simplify both sides. The second one is we're gonna add or subtract if it benefits us, if it isolates the variable on one side and everything else on the other. Well, the variable is technically on one side, right? Everything else is on the other, except for that number, that pesky number right there, right? So there's nothing to add or subtract. So we're not gonna do step two in this case. Step three is to multiply or divide. Once again, the goal is to isolate the variable. Well, here's our variable, our x right here. We wanna isolate it because we have that pesky five in front of x. Now, hopefully you guys know this, but basically the five in front of x is basically five times x. So in order to get rid of it, we gotta do the opposite. So we're gonna divide by five, and what you do to one side, you must do to the other. So we're gonna divide this by five as well. Therefore, since you're doing the opposite, these guys go away, and you have x by itself, which is what we want, and we have 15 divided by five, which hopefully is fairly simple for you guys, is three right here, and just like that, Step one, two, and three, we have solved this linear equation, x equals three. All right, let's look at a second example. This one looks slightly more challenging, slightly more scary, but actually it's still the same thing, right? So first step, simplify both sides. In this case, you really can't do anything with the parentheses, but you do have multiplication, which is technically your distributive property, right? You have five times the quantity 
of x plus 2. So we're going to use distributive property to finish multiplying of PEMDAS. So we're going to grab this 5 right here and we're going to multiply it equally to the x and 2. So we're going to basically have 5 times x or 5x plus and then 5 times 2 is just 10. Okay, that's one side. The other side, we have basic right here. It's an addition problem, nothing else. So 10 plus 5 is 15. All right, can we simplify it any further? We cannot. All right, so that's our first step done, finish. All right now, we are moving on to our second step. We're adding or subtracting to get rid of everything and isolate the variable. The variable is right here. Right, and we have this pesky plus 10 on this side, and this one we have nothing, so we're just gonna leave it there, it's just 15. Right, so we wanna get rid of the plus 10. Since it's a plus 10, you're gonna do the opposite, which is gonna be subtract. So we're gonna subtract 10 on one side, and what you do to one side, you must do to the other. Right, so there you go. This goes away, you still have your 5x, and now this one's gonna be 15 subtract, 10, which is going to be 5. There it is. Simple as that. All right. And then lastly, now we have 5x, which is 5 times x. Once again, we can't do step 2 anymore because we're done with all the adding and subtracting. We're going to do step 3, which is multiplying and dividing. So, multiplication, you do the opposite. You're going to divide. Divide by 5 on one side, you divide by 5 on the others. So, this goes away. Now, be careful when I say go away. Basically what it means is that if you have the same number, right, top and bottom, and you divide, right, they become 1. 1x one is just x. In this case, 5 divided by 5, it goes away. It's not actually 0. Once again, 5 divided by 5 is just 1. So technically now you have x equals 1, and that is our lovely answer for this second example. All right, so let's look at one more just to cover our basis Right, here's one that looks very scary because you have x's on both sides of the equation, but once again, we're just following simple steps. Right, we're simplifying both sides. So this side right here, we can combine like terms. These guys right here, simple addition. 4x plus 2x is just 6x. We can also combine these guys right here. It's a negative 7 plus 9. That's scary, right? But basically what it is is just... Two. So let's do this plus 2 equals, and this one right here, there's an invisible 1 in front of the x, so basically it's 5x minus 1x, which will result in 4x. Okay, have we finished simplifying? Yes, can we simplify anymore? No, there we go, step 1 done. Second step, adding or subtracting to isolate the variable. Now, this one, there's two parts to it. What I normally would like to do, and you can do it either way, is if I have something like this, I would usually want to subtract the smaller number to the other side just because it would save me from having to work with a lot of negatives. You can definitely subtract 6x, right, and bring it on this side, which is great as well, right? There's no one way. All you have to do, all you have to remember it's just you're doing the opposite just to isolate the variable on one side of the equation, whichever side you want. We don't want it on both. So for me, I just prefer to basically isolate it on this side because I know it's gonna be positive. So I will subtract 4x to get rid of it here because this is technically a positive 4x and I'm gonna subtract 4x right here, okay? In that case, this one ends up giving me 2x plus 2, and this one, since you're at, you're having a positive, subtract a number, the same number, it's just going to be 0. There it is. Cool. Simple as that. Now, we're not done, right? It's still, it is on one side, but it has all these, like, you know, jumble of numbers that you want to get rid of, but you especially you have this, like, pesky 2. So, if we have 2x, and we have this pesky plus 2 here, so we're going to just do the opposite, right? We're going to subtract 2. Subtract 2, this goes away, and let me just write it right here so that I have more room, right? Basically what I have now is going to be 2x equals negative 2. All right, adding and subtracting is not going to help us anymore, right? If you want to move the 2 back and forth, that's on you, but it doesn't solve the problem. So the third step, multiplication or divide. Well, in this case, since this is a multiplication, I want to do the opposite. I'm going to divide by 2, divide by 2, right? This goes away. 
So now you just have x equals negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. There it is. This is your final answer for the third problem. I said it was simple and I talked a lot, but hopefully it is. It's really not that bad, right? So once again, to solve a basic linear equation, there is really three overarching steps that you are working with. You're first going to simplify both sides of the equation. That's a given, right? Yes, there are easier ways. There are ways to manipulate that would save you a lot of time. But just for those of us who are lazy to try to find the easier way, didn't see it whatsoever, just going by this step, just to simplify both sides all the way, you will most likely solve the problem, right? Simplify both sides, no matter what. Variables, numbers, that's fine. Then the next step is to add or subtract. Remember that your goal is to isolate variables on one side and all the other goobly got the numbers, all the unnecessary stuff on the other side, right? So when you're adding and subtracting, you're doing that with that specific goal. You're not just doing it at random. With that, do the opposite. If it's adding a number, if it's a positive number, you're gonna subtract. If it's a negative number or if you're, it's minus a number on one side and you wanna get rid of it, you're gonna add. Basic, simple, right? After that, once you simplified and then you've already added and subtract so that you got rid of everything that you can and that you have your variable on one side and all the other goobly gob numbers on the other side, right? you most likely would have some coefficient or some number in front of that variable. If it's just that variable, then you're done. You don't need to multiply or divide anything. If it just ends up being x equals something or y equals something, you're done, All right? It just happens that if there is some coefficient, five, seven, whatever number, right? And you wanna get rid of it, right? You gotta do the opposite. If it's a positive regular number, most likely you're gonna divide it, right? If it's seven X, you divide it by seven. If it's a five, you divide it by five, so on. Just make sure you do it on both sides. And if it happens to be a fraction, like one half, one third, you can divide by one half or one third or basically multiply by two or three, get rid of it on, get rid of it in front of the variable basically. And then that's how you would end up solving linear equation. Hopefully I didn't make it more complicated than necessary because my goal is to try to make it as simple as possible, or at least just to make it so that it is very algorithmic, right? Step by step, do this step first, this step second, this step third, and you will solve the problem. So I've rambled long enough and my tongue is dry. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if this kind of format is useful or if I'm making it more complex, because now I am not entirely sure anymore. Anyways, I will see you in the next video.